what's up everybody i gotta get this wood pile covered i was gonna extend the roof and make like a whole nother carport that's what we got right here i'm gonna take this metal this metal roofing and use some trees and get this covered and uh, i just really felt like using my i got a new chainsaw thing cuts amazing i'm just itching to cut some more stuff down and build something so yeah Let's get to it. three posts out of those and then some firewood when it eventually dries but yeah i need one more and then i'm gonna need six more for another roof so i just need one more to start the first cover and then i need six more for the second all right this should be enough for two um, sets of roofing panels now i need to cut all the ends perfectly flat that's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge about perfect isn't that nice all done just kidding just bracing it up here real quick take some measurements of the other posts get those in i needed to put another support in there had to move move some wood and get one in there i'm thinking the whole thing is gonna need like i'm probably gonna have to put like a two by four across from you know each beam to each beam but not too much work and i think it's gonna work out Uneven, but no big deal. No big deal. Gotta take, gotta take a little more off right there, so it slopes. It, ma it matches up good at, from there to here. Just needs uh, needs some some off right here. Let's see if I took too much off or enough off. Not bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I think I think I might have got it. Yeah, that looks almost perfect. Pretty much perfect. 
and I just guessed. <laughs> I was just chopping away. Didn't really take too many measurements at all. And it looks pretty good. Slopes, it slightly slopes that way, but I think I kind of like that. That it's it's going, you know, towards the back. So if I put another one on, I'll make that one slightly go towards the back and then water will mostly pool off the back end. I doubt these are gonna <laughs> go through metal drywall screws, but we'll give it a shot. First, I'm just gonna get one into the two by four into the wood. I mean, this is an impact driver, maybe it'll go through. Oh yeah, no problem. Drywall screw right through, right through the roofing metal. All right, that's it for today. Just a quick, easy, free build um, to store my firewood. Didn't want, really want to store it in the carport. I got the four-wheeler, probably a dirt bike, other machinery that's going to go in here. And then my car, I'll park here once it starts snowing. Hopefully the snow doesn't take this thing out. No big deal if it does. This, this whole thing took me like an hour or two. All right, it's day two. This side's done. It's going to get going on this side. Got some... Got some of the logs already. Some two by fours that I found in the woods. Cut up to the right length. Perfect. Pretty much almost perfect. Pop some screws in that. So yesterday it was like 75 degrees, 80 the day before. Today it's only like 45, maybe 50 with the sun. It's pretty nice though. I like, I like when it's 45, 50 and there's sun out. Uh, yesterday was a little too hot. Day before, de definitely too hot for November. Yeah, I think that should be good. Most of this I've just been guessing. I uh, haven't really measured too much. I've just kind of eyed it all out and it's lining up really well so far. Well, I made my first little mistake. I cut this, somehow cut it too short. First post that I did that to. Just gonna add this two by four right here. All right, finally done. About two hours yesterday, two hours today. All free material. Roof, the roofing I found in the woods, two by fours in the woods, cut down the trees. Might have to um, trim a little bit. This was the only section that it's sitting probably like a half inch to an inch higher than the rest, but it, everything slants down. So it should be fine. Gonna be able to store a lot of firewood under here. Um, I have a ton of metal roofing that I found in the woods, probably about a thousand dollars worth. I plan on making an extension on the other side, but it's gonna be like a real, you know, like a 20 by 20 or 16 by 16. And it'll be like an outdoor kitchen, outdoor shower. Might even make one off the front. This was just, you know, this lasts a couple of years, that's cool. Just protect the protect the firewood, uh, keep it you know keep it dry. That's about it.
Hey, thanks for watching the video. That was all filmed in November. There was like some 70 and 80 degree days at the end of November, it was crazy. But now it's February, it's freezing, but everything's staying dry. And I have a ton of pallets here. I think I'm gonna extend this roof probably out to like here so I can store pallets and stuff like that. Building a pallet cabin over there. So subscribe, hit that notification bell. You don't wanna miss that video. Also have the tree house over there. Just insulated that, did it all pallet wood inside, put a wood burning stove in there. So check out that video in the description below. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time.